What's up, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, wherever this video end up, man. Look, I'm coming here today to do a video on how to tell when your woman is cheating, okay? And I'm doing this video because, you know, I'm starting to notice a lot of guys out here don't understand the signs and it's a bunch of fuckery and simp shit going on, you know what I'm saying? So I, as I usually do, thought that I'd be the guy to go ahead and call it out. So I'm going to keep this show this week. I'm going to knock it down to three uh, simple signs to notice, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just going to go ahead and say this right now that, uh, you know, these three signs don't necessarily... 100% mean that your girl is cheating, but 99.9.999% of the time that I'm just going to go ahead and say that this is the case. So let's go ahead and first off, get this out the way and notice that women are emotional creatures. Women act off emotion. They like to be stimulated with emotion. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, let's just go ahead and say this. Um, I find it I'd like to call it bullshit if you supposedly dating a female or she's so interested in you, but she can go a whole day without talking to you. Like, that makes no fucking sense to me. You know what I'm saying? And that would be a red flag to me because let's keep it 100. With everything going on today in our generation, especially the newer generation, who the fuck is going all day without talking to somebody that, that they love or they care about? Especially if your girl is beautiful. Like, you really think that she's denying every motherfucking guy that's coming to her, talking to her? She's denying everybody's motherfucking calls? You know, if she... How, how is she talking to everybody else but you? What, is her phone not working or... You see what I'm saying? That, that's that's just that's just uh, that's just that's just a red flag to me. You know what I'm saying? Like she could be mad as fuck at you and not talking to you for a couple of days. That could happen. You know what I'm saying? But how 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 like how often will that happen though? Your girl can go two to three days or a couple of days without talking to you. Bullshit. And I don't want to hear it. Let's just go ahead and uh you know. Have you ever noticed? You know the second thing. Have you ever noticed if you're talking to a girl? You know, or y'all in a relationship, whatever, and y'all not 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 the honeymoon phase shit. Let's say six months or better. Then all of a sudden, she's just like everything. It seems like everything you do pisses her off. That's another red flag because let's keep it a hundred. You know what I'm saying? You know, a woman does things to ease her conscience and find a way to be mad at you to. Make a scenario in her head where it's okay to be fucking with this nigga on the side. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you a good guy, you doing everything you can, you know, you might call her and be like, hey, baby, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? She might come back with some with some bullshit. Why you questioning me? Why you answering It's bullshit. She, you know, could she be upset with you over what happened the day before? Yeah, she could. You know what I'm saying? But how often is that going to happen? Everything you do is going to cause an argument. It's going to cause distance between y'all. When you try to call her, she's upset, so she finds a reason to hang up the phone. She don't want to see you. You know what I'm saying? Or things like that, you know? She could be upset, but more times often than not, that shit is a red flag, and she's... She's slowly phasing you out of the picture, you know what I'm saying? Because the more she's not talking to you, the more she's not seeing you, that's the more she's with the nigga on the side. You see what I'm saying? It's all another little game to ease her conscience and make what she's doing okay. All right, you know, that's two things down, you know. Let's go ahead and uh, this is the biggest sign. If all of a sudden you guys' sex slows up like a motherfucker or that shit completely stops. Man, let's keep this shit 100, man. I'm 25 years old, okay? I'm basically in my sexual prime. You see what I'm saying? Any chick that's around my age, let's just go ahead and say 30 or 30, 30 or under. If you sexually active, there's no motherfucking reason why you should not be fucking with your nigga. You know what I'm saying? Three to five times a week off rip. You see what I'm saying? I'm just saying, you know, based on how I get down. You know what I'm saying? Three or five times a week. If all of a sudden you just notice changes in the sexual pattern, like let's just say y'all used to fuck two to three times a day, three days out the week. All of a sudden this shit goes down to maybe once or twice a day, once or twice a week to maybe once a day, once a week to like once a month or once every few months. It's bullshit, man. She's obviously doing something else, man. Women that are sexually active are not finna slow down the sexual pattern like that, especially if she claims that it's good with you. What woman is gonna up and tell her nigga, oh man, the sex is garbage? Come on, man. If she's sitting up here 
the sex dramatically slows down or something like that, it's some bullshit in the play, man. Like, trust me, man. I'm going to keep it a hundred. I've been cheated on before. You know what I'm saying? By a bitch that I trusted. I trusted this bitch. And all of the signs, you know, that I'm speaking on right now, I saw these signs. And I went to my brother and I told him, I said, look, bro, you know, this happened right here. It's bullshit. I'm going to go ahead and go off instinct. You see what I'm saying? And do what I do. But you know what he told me? Oh, no, nah, man. She wouldn't do that to you. She, you know, uh, just, just, y'all upset, you know, she upset, you know, this, and that. I gave her the benefit of the doubt, but at the end of the day, everything that I had went, when I went and told my brother about, it was true, you see what I'm saying, was I upset about it, no, because I had already started doing what I was doing, you know, but it's just an example of just some of the signs and the games that these women play, man, don't be, you know, no matter who you are, man, whether you're a man or a female, do not fucking let someone play with you like this. You see what I'm saying? You demand enough respect. Have enough respect for yourself, you know. And if someone's treating you like a second option, man, you don't need to be in that person's life, period. That's man or female. I can only speak from the male perspective because I'm a man. You see what I'm saying? And do we play games and shit? Yeah, the fuck we do. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not speaking on that. You figure that shit out for yourself. I'm out here helping out the brothers. You know what I'm saying? That's dealt with this bullshit or maybe be going through this bullshit. They don't know any better. So, you know what I'm saying? If, if you are experiencing what I'm talking about, dog, you need to start paying even more close attention and wising the fuck up and either you gonna just get the fuck out or you gonna be a simp and put up with it. That's all I gotta say, man. It's your boy Kevin Nerve. I'm up out of here.